This is your KCTV 5 News Update. We are following breaking news this morning of a fatal crash in Kansas City. It happened on US 71 Highway at about 2 this morning. A black Dodge Ram struck the back of a Kia. The Dodge sped off, but it later turned on its top and it caught fire. The driver of the Kia tried getting the truck driver out, but the fire was too intense. The truck driver was partially ejected from the vehicle and pronounced dead at the scene. An annual cornhole tournament, it takes on a special meaning today. It will honor fallen independence officer Blaze Madrid Evans. He was killed after responding to a shooting earlier this week. The Kansas City Police Officers Memorial Foundation sponsors the event. It will help raise money for Madrid Evans' family. The first bags will be tossed at 11.30 this morning at the Sandbox on Northwest Ferry Road. Demonstrators held another protest on KU's campus. All week, students have been demanding action after a sexual assault was reported at a frat house. Last night, they staged a sit-in outside the chancellor's office. Some administration officials have talked with students, hoping to calm the situation, but protesters say their words ring hollow. I'm Storm Track 5 meteorologist Alina Lee with your Saturday weather update. It is going to be another warm day, not as hot as Friday afternoon. If you remember that, it was 88 degrees in Kansas City. I think we'll be up near 86 today under a mostly sunny sky. And then for your Sunday, mixture of sun and clouds and just a little bit warmer and still kind of humid. Temperatures are expected to be 9, 10 degrees above normal with highs in the upper 80s. Next cold front arriving on Monday, that'll break, uh, bring us back into the 70s by next week, along with increasing chances for rain. Have a great day. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.